Yo, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing some more of the Miotica Shiura playthrough. Now, I'm actually really quite excited for today. I'm tired as fuck. So, yeah, it's just going to be really quite nice. You know, wind down. Finally, do something relaxing. And, yeah, just... I don't know, have fun in general, really. It's going to be really quite cool seeing what's going to happen today. Because, um, yeah, last time, it was actually really quite cool. We saw, um, you know, Natsumi and... A lot of stuff happening between Akira and Natsumi. I mean, not only did we see, like, you know, her cutting her hair, which basically meant she was the person that everybody would be attracted to, like a bloody magnet. I don't know. Increasing its magnetic field strength. God, I want to die. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is basically what happened, and yeah, loads of competitions was a result, um, Akira had to confess, and I suppose now, I didn't actually get to finish the chapter yesterday, because likewise, I was very tired, so, um, yeah, today we're gonna actually, um, you know, just see what the, um, end of this actually entails, I really wonder what's gonna happen, so, uh, yeah, let's go. Huh? Huh? Right, I wonder what this is gonna be. After school one day, we were eating crepes in front of the station and chatting about nonsense like usual. Lucky! Oh my god, I love crepes. But all of a sudden, Natsumi turned towards us and said that. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Natsumi? <laughs> That's really quite funny. <laughs> yeah, just uh, because Natsumi is saying, like, I love you guys. And then, yeah, it's seeming quite weird. What's wrong, Natsumi? Did something happen? Oh, it looks like she's... I mean, she's not really angry. She's just finding it hard um, to comprehend what to say. <laughs> Her mouth was shut tight. Like, she was deeply thinking about something. Yeah, yeah. The fresh cream of the crepe she held in both hands melted and spilled down to the ground. Oh, my God. That definitely shows that she is completely lost in whatever she's thinking. Not to me. And once she continued looking lost in thought, I pulled a tissue out of my pocket to wipe her dirty hands. But just then, not to me raised her head and looked straight at us. Oh. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I know this is a weird say thing to say now or full times, but I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm really grateful to the both of you. That's actually really quite nice. So I wonder... Oh my god, fair, yeah. They really have been, though. Seriously, she's she's really lucky to have friends like this, like, genuinely. You've been so kind of caring since I moved here from the countryside. Even today, you've been talking to me, taking me all kinds of places and telling me so many fun stories. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, going to the city, heck, getting crepes. I'm so jealous. You get, like, barely any crepe stores, and you probably get better ones in Japan than you do here. <laughs> Isn't that obvious you're a friend? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I, I, I suppose she's just never really had that same treatment um, from somebody beforehand. And she's never had friends as close as Chisato and Tamako either. Um, I smiled and started to say that, but as soon as I saw the serious look on Natsumi's face, I held it down. Yeah, fair. I could tell right away this was no time to make flippant remarks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do for the both of you. Oh, gosh, he sounds really quite upset. Mm. Yeah, my god, that is fair enough, yeah. I can hardly keep up in our conversations. You're so, you have so many interesting topics to share, but I can't offer anything for the two of you. Yeah, interesting. I mean, definitely. Hmm. So, I'm really sorry. I'm always worried about that. No, but at the same time, she's such a nice person, and she is herself as well. She can't really you know, fully always try and, you know, engage in conversation because if you try too much, then, you know, it's not going to be genuine and it's just going to be an effort instead of, you know, something that not should be fun. Not to me. Tomko seemed a bit confused and turned towards me. I probably had the same look on my face too. Yeah, there's no need for her to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I love that she, that's her primal thought. Uh, instinct to think that. Um, it's not like hanging out with Natsumi is the volunteer work. I like that. Yeah, it's fun to chat and play with her, so we just do it. Just do it. Hell yeah. That's good. But somehow I understood. The reason Natsumi is so worried is because she feels so out of place around us. Oh yeah, that is understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was causing her to develop an inferiority complex. Yeah, yeah, fair. I mean, to be honest, I don't really like the way they put this. I think just, like, why does it have to be so technical? Oh. Oh, I'll come to think of it. When I looked at Natsumi's face, I suddenly remembered. She was sitting around looking dejected like this on the first day she transferred here. 
Oh, God. So she really just doesn't, you know, she's really having the feeling she doesn't fit in whatsoever here. She didn't know anybody in the class back then and seemed lonely. Yeah. She didn't have the courage to talk to anyone. She was like a frightened little animal. God, yeah. Yeah, that must be scary. And I mean, I can imagine that. I'm definitely going to be like that on my first day of sixth form. Fucking hell. It was nothing strange or special. Anybody would feel that way after being thrown into a new place on their own. Into a strange new place, even more so, yeah. And that outer place feeling gradually twins into discomfort, then to loneliness. Mm. Oh my god, that is so true, yeah. To the point where you feel inferior and wonder if you should even be there. Yeah. I mean, in my situation, I always have the belief that I should be there because if I don't... If I'm not there, then my grades suffer. But like, yeah. But even if that's the case... If you keep living in that atmosphere, you also hesitate about how to interact with others. Ah, definitely, yeah. It takes courage to speak up. It was the same way for us in the beginning. God, even them. Yeah. But that's fair enough, yeah. Yeah, and I find it really quite nice that, yeah, I mean, my god, from that, you can just really tell how stressed she is. But they noticed. Normally, I wouldn't want to get involved, but for some reason, I wanted to break that vicious cycle. Yeah, so I decided to try a little harder to sort of her. Interesting, so the first reason Tamako, sorry, um, Jisato actually felt motivated to, you know, spark fun conversation with her was just because she felt lonely and, you know, what it would lead to. You know, her not being able, to, being able to talk to anybody, being in, in, in school and just in class in general, seeming so much more hellish than it actually is, and obviously... You know, your loneliness and sad feelings taking control over your learning, stuff like that. I didn't take it that seriously at first, figuring um, that'd act as the trigger for a kindred spirit to reach out to her and get along. Hmm. Yeah. But it far exceeded my expectations. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, this started one of their best friendships. <laughs> Oh my god, they're laughing so much. Uh, oh, so that's what the laughter for. I was really confused for a second. I like you, Kimiyoshi san. <laughs> hey, you're a nice character. Huh? <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. I mean, obviously, it's going to be different between chapters. So the introduce introduction we saw in Summer is going to be different to the one here. But, like, is this actually the way they're re introducing themselves to her? Oh my god. Yeah, I wasn't making fun of her, nor was I looking down on her. Yeah, definitely not, no. I just found that slightly off kilter yet passionate reaction really refreshing and amusing. Hmm. Yeah, it's passionate, even though, you know, she doesn't have any any bravery to actually, you know, talk about it. <laughs> and that brought to my memories of my beloved. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. And that brought to my memories of my beloved little sister. She was so similar to Kaori. <laughs> Oh, sorry for suddenly laughing like that. <laughs> oh, that's actually really quite nice though. Anyway, if there's anything, ever something bothering you, don't hesitate to speak up, okay? That's really quite nice, yeah, because we will do what we can to help. Huh? <laughs> that's just really quite funny, like, yeah, she barely knows them as well. Oh my god, that... Yeah, I feel bad, quite bad for her. I mean, she's just so shadowy. She can't even formulate a word. <laughs> oh my god. I think if it was this easy to make friends with people, things would definitely be different. <laughs> don't, shy, don't be shy. We're friends now. Yeah, I like that. So let's get along, okay? Y yeah. <laughs> Since then, I've been getting along and talking with Natsumi and started um, taking her all sorts of places like today. That's really nice, yeah. Anytime she was confused about things in class or how to deal with our teacher. Oh, 
I'll explain it in a funny way, doing my best to reduce the tension. I told her about food and fashion, about what sort of things are popular in the city, acting as a sort of intermediary out of consideration. That's really quite good, you know, just immersing her and getting her, you know, eased into her new life. That's really nice, yeah. She recently mentioned wanting to buy an anniversary gift for her parents, so I even helped her get a part-time job. Oh my god, she did, yeah, yeah, the Psyche um, Care and Welfare Center. That's really good, yeah. Somehow, I had assumed a guardian role for Natsumi. Hmm. I felt like a parent, but at, the, at first, Tomoko apparently thought that behavior was unexpected. Oh. oh my god, that's fair enough, yeah. It's actually fair enough, and to think that, you know, this person is just, you know, some random person that has just joined from another school. I mean, obviously her personality and, you know, being really shy and yet passionate, it definitely helps. But at the same time, it does, you know, simplify to that. She is a person that they barely know, and yet they're making this big of a move. I mean, Tisato is even. <laughs> That's actually really quite nice though. So, oh my god, I couldn't imagine having somebody like Natsumi, you know, just... No, Natsumi, sorry, Tisato introduced me to stuff like... That would be so nice. This is just like the dream person for any bad situation, I swear to god. Chisato would be a good tour guide. Holiday tour guide. She could really, really inform and make people happy. You, you always enjoy playing the fool and causing a commotion, but you've never shown this level of compassion for anybody other than me and Akira chan have you? <laughs> what on earth is going on? Hmm. Oh my god, yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, some way or another, it just happened. Honestly, there was no deep reason behind it. Yeah, there wasn't, though, genuinely. <laughs> but, yeah, that probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably did... She did give me a very similar vibe to Kaori, so that probably encouraged me a little bit. She's just a little shy, but she's really honest, and her reactions when I tease her are always fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Listening to us intently and thinking so seriously, doing her best to respond to us. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. I mean, she really takes in conversation and she genuinely wants to know these people as well. The more time I spent with Natsumi, the more and more I started to like her. Yeah, fair. Some say that friendships between girls are paper thin. Oh my god, so many of them are, yeah. But when it comes to her, I can confidently, confidently puff my chest out and say that's not the case. Yeah, yeah, fair. So. That's actually really quite nice. I mean, these people really have been friends for yeah. ever, basically. Hey, not to me. Oh, I find it really quite nice that, you know, she's in a situation where she really, really needs support. And yet, you know, Chisato, she really is going to give it. Mm. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh, nice one. I'm grateful to you, too. <laughs> How is it selfish? Come on. <laughs> For always getting along with my selfish whims. While fondly remembering those days, I gently grabbed Natsumi's hand. Oh, why did it clean with the tissue? Oh, that's nice. But that could also look really intimidating for her. And I tried to look at her with a smile that conveyed I was being completely serious instead of joking. Yeah, yeah, instead of joking around like usual. Oh, definitely, Chisato-chan. Listen, I'm fairly, I mean, I'm really caught up in my assumptions. Mm. There are times when I push ahead and do whatever I think without even considering other people's feelings. Yeah, I suppose I can't say I'm indifferent. <laughs> so much so that Tomoko even tells me from time to time that I need to watch out for it. <laughs> 
それは否定しないわ。She's evil. <laughs> Indeed, I won't deny that. I mean, I guess they are kind of being serious, but at the same time, though, she mentions any flaw and she will never fail to deny it. But that's honesty, that's good. Tomoko shrugged her shoulders、um, with a bitter smile on her face while rolling up her empty, empty crepe wrapper. And in a hushed tone, she said to me, while we're at it. <laughs> Plus, she's figuring quick to get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Because of her selfish and reckless tendencies, Chisato has never really been considerate of anybody in particular up until now. How are you friends with her then? Come on. Well, perhaps others、um, get, get fed up with her and leave her on their own. Yeah, so I was a little surprised when she first said we should make friends with you and take you around with us. Don't let me know my oida. Sound like that. It felt like a trick of my imagination. This is so sweet. It is actually really quite interesting that, you know, Chisato has had this much of a bomb with Natsumi. Hmm. Really? Natsumi's eyes are wide open, wide as she lightly tilted her head. Perhaps up until now, she thought we were particularly considerate people. Even amongst our classmates, I was probably just didn't realize how nice they are, yeah. But Tomoko aside, I wasn't an especially benevolent, benevolent person. Yes, she is. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, her kindness from friends may differ from, you know, obviously the connections they have to, you know, just the average person. But at the same time, though, I think to be able to be this kind to your friends, you have got to be kind, yeah. If anything, even I was well aware that I had a strong tendency to avoid troublesome things. And I mean, that's. I suppose it can be good in most situations, but some it may not be. Yeah, yeah, in that sense. And that to me really was something special to me. But recently, I felt like I understood why. Natsumi, you may not realize this yourself, but you really are such a good girl. <laughs> That's just genuinely so funny, just, you know, echoing Tisato's very weird words. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, we've just seen this and how much she's actually thrived in her schooling and how much she's improved. No matter how different your values are, no matter if you're not good at something, no matter if you're not good at something or not,、um, you always try your best to adapt and understand it. Yeah, sometimes you misunderstand it. It's slightly different from what we might want, but you always put in your best effort to respond. That's n i c e Yeah, yeah because of that, you're absolutely delightful. Delightful? Yeah. なんでこんなこと知らないんだ<笑>思う時もあるけどそれって私たちにとっては当然でも夏美にとってはそうでないことなんだよね。There are, there are occasionally times that I'm surprised you don't know something. But not to me, just because something is natural for us doesn't mean it's natural for you, right? So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even so, you always take the time to think about our feelings, to accept and understand them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more, yeah. Even now, you're seriously thinking about what you can do as our friend. Yeah, that's why we're just as grateful to you. Good, so well said as well. Tomoko chan. Oh, she must just be so happy, obviously. Her concerns about, you know, not properly being able to fit in and everything, they're just completely silenced at, you know, her kindness, really.
、ただそう言われてみればあんたはそんな風に悩ませてたってことに私は気づいてなかった。But now that you say that,、um, I never noticed that we were thinking, making things so hard for you. ってあんたに甘えすぎて、oh. ひょっとしたら我慢をさせちゃうこともあったかもしれない。Hmm. I've gotten carried away and I've relied on you too much. I've probably made you put up with a lot. Oh, she's not done anything that bad. And if anything, all of this was just to, you know, develop their friendship, have fun with each other. ごめんね。It's not really the worst. Sorry about that. そ,そんなこと。Oh yeah, I really like that. Yeah, Tisato's totally beating herself up here. No, no way. 私の方がずっと二人に甘えて、hmm. いっぱい気を使ってもらってた。Well, that is very tricky if both of them feel as if, you know, they're relying on each other. But at the same time, if they both feel they're relying on each other, then isn't that a good thing? I'm the one who was always relying on you, too. You've always been very considerate of me. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. And yet I. <laughs> Natsumi once again began looking apologetic and she rushed to blame herself. Like I was saying, something outrageous within my self reflective comments. Yeah. Honestly, it really is just a stomach or said. She's such a good girl, but. Ah,違う違う。そういう意味じゃないよ。Yeah, it isn't. Yeah, that's not it. あんたも思ったこと、感じたことを素直にぶつけてもいいんだよって。Yeah, yeah, nice one. そう言いたかったんだ。Yeah, you're welcome to let us know how you truly think and feel. That's what I'm trying to say. だってそうじゃなきゃ、私ばっかりいい思いして、yeah. すごく不公平でしょ。Yeah, because otherwise I'm the only one having a good time, and that's just unfair, right? 不,不公平。That's literally the same name as Sawamura Kohe, the guy that, you know,、um, Nagisa was dating that sadly died, but like, yeah, died because of Hiranima being a fucking mad、mm, asshole. Yeah, it's unfair. That's quite funny that Kohe is obviously his name, but at the same time, this. Yeah,、um, friendship is about looking out for one another, not, not thinking about how you can repay favors. No, it isn't. No, 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 no. No way. Even so, as an excess of kindness, that's not true in your line. That's not in your line of your friend with your friend's values. Circumstances or intentions could definitely make you feel inferior instead of. I've heard something like that before. Hmm. That's actually really quite interesting. So, if you put too much kindness that's sort of undeserved and not really appreciated by the friend, obviously, because he's not been able to fully, you know, become your friend and fully appreciate what you're doing, you feel a little bit inferior. Interesting. I'd assume that's how you could analyze that. Don't know, though. It's true that I've done all sorts of things to take care of Natsumi and look out for her as a friend. Yeah, yeah, but if she believed those thoughts were coming from a sense of superiority or arrogance, yeah, she might feel confused or overwhelmed. That's actually really quite interesting, but the tricky thing is if she doesn't go out of her way fully as a friend, then maybe、um, they'll feel as if,、uh, you know, Natsumi may think as if. The friendship isn't fully there. I don't know though.、Um, the important thing is to understand how the other person feels. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, not, and not really excessively trying as well. That's key. 
and the best way to do that is to talk openly with one another and share your opinions. Yeah. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Although, if anything, I'm grateful Natsumi said it herself. Oh yeah, that's interesting, yeah, obviously, because Chisato, Chisato's so much more confident and obviously adapted into the environment than Natsumi. I'm just kind of happy that, you know, she said it. Because if she hadn't have, then I think it would have made the situation a lot more trickier, even if she was thinking the same thing. If she hadn't been the dimwit I am, I would have never realised that I was hurting my best friend. Yeah, my god, yeah. Yeah, so if you feel that I'm ever going too far, I want you to speak up. Hmm. I may not be able to tell whether that's because you're shy or if you're feeling seriously. That's good, yeah. But I'll um, try my best to do a little more um, to meet your expectations. Sato-chan, but both of you have... It's fine. Oh, yeah, 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 not to me. We both have um, a better understanding of your kind feelings thanks to what you've told us. Yeah, that's right. So this time we want to be able to accept your circumstances and values. Yeah, that's good. And that's actually really quite interesting. I wonder if Natsumi is going to talk about Hinamizawa here. And obviously. Mm. I'm sure we will be a bit confused at um, first, just like you were at the start. Yeah, but I want to reciprocate, to show you that I understand. Yeah. Tomoko-chan. Mm. So let's make a rule. This doesn't apply um, to just me or you, but ooh, to, to all three of us. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, let's become to around each other and, and to make this a nicer world. That's actually really quite interesting. I mean, this is such a healthy friendship. Nothing is happening, but at the same time, Natsumi is just, you know, firstly feeling inferior. The fact that, like, I suppose what actually was the reason, the exact reason where she could have potentially been feeling inferior. I mean. Yeah, it's just really quite interesting. It's just so contradictory to what I would have thought. Like, you know, a friend taking care of another one and actually being able to, you know, they've fitted in so much that they can actually do that. And obviously prying into their lives, it will create maybe a sense of, I don't know, inferiority and like, obviously unwanted attention as well. I really like that though, I mean these people are just, these people are just too good in terms of, you know, how nice they are, I mean seriously, but these people really really care about each other, I mean they're such good friends, they really are. それで盛大に迷惑をかけ合って、持ちつ持たれつで楽しくやっていきたいんだ。いや、いや、I feel better you prying into their situation could potentially you know be classed as something like that really it's interesting you never would have thought that would be the case but yeah <laughs> i 
Oh. It's a relationship where you have fun together and make each other happy. Yeah, yeah, my god, definitely, yeah. And obviously, while, you know, making um, each other happy, you obviously need to be really mindful and comfortable around each other and, you know, no toxicity preferably. This friendship does not have toxicity, oh my god. <laughs> You can show your worries. There's no need to hesitate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because it's not about repaying anything. It's about offering kindness and support without reservation. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually really quite interesting. That like you can offer kindness and support. You don't need to get it back, but yeah, you don't have to get it back. Obviously, you need to get it back to a certain extent. Because if you don't, then yeah, are they really your friend? But at the same time, like yeah. Hmm. By doing that, you're not alone. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because the trust and peace of mind allows us to all achieve greater happiness. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. sato -chan. うん、さとちゃん、これからもお互い嫌なことがあったら何でも相談し合おうね。さとちゃん、これからもお互い嫌なことがあったら何でも相談し合おうね。さとちゃん、これからもお互い嫌なことがあったら何でも相談し合おう
Oh god, I couldn't imagine what would happen if like, I don't know, somebody like a bully saw her. <laughs> god, that'd be awful. Um, however, at that time it felt like we truly understood each other as friends. That's brilliant, yeah. It really is, I mean. It's just so nice that these people actually made the bond together. It was really quite interesting learning, like, you know, without uh, Natomi actually having some resemblance of um, I... No, I don't know what I know. I got I... No, Aichi. That's a prefecture. No, I got something like that. Uh, Uchisato's sister, basically. You know, the 10-year-old that died on the bed. I think it's just so awful that she could have obviously offered her body... Um, have offered her body stem cells and that could have completely saved her, but... Her taking too long actually resulted in the opposite. I mean, my god, that's awful. It really is. <laughs> We've had some arguments since then. All right. Oh god. Damn, I'm actually really quite surprised you would have thought just from a conversation like that. I mean, obviously it shows they're really, really passionate with each other, but yeah, not perfect. <laughs> but being perfect is not, is a flaw in itself anyway. So, and even if you couldn't call them outright fights, there were certainly times where we had our conflicts of opinion that ended up causing issues. Hmm. Yeah, fair. But every time we talked it over, discussed our feelings, apologised and forgave each other. That's brilliant, yeah. We had a strong, firm bond, like childhood friends. No, I couldn't agree more. They really do. <laughs> Akira already has Natsumi. You cannot do anything except that. <laughs> that was the first time somebody told me straight to my face that I loved them. <laughs> Yeah, it was really embarrassing and unsettling, <laughs> but I was really delighted. Oh my god, for somebody to actually go out of the way to say that. I mean, obviously not in a relationship-like way, but still, it's amazing. That's really good, yeah. That's right, from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to do everything I can to find that, help find that girl happiness. Yeah, my god. Why did I think her name was Aiko? What the fuck? I admit when we first met, part of me felt like she was a replacement for Kaori. Yeah, definitely though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but now it's different. Oh, yeah, she's my friend. Definitely. I mean, she's not only a replacement for Kaori, but yeah, secondly, your friend. Yeah. But that's not important at all. Yeah, the fact that she's a precious, important best friend, that's more important. Yeah, it's actually really quite funny. I mean, Chisato obviously feels this, um, you know, passionate about it. Could you imagine if Tamako didn't feel that way at all? But that's not the case, obviously. Like, of course she does. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet, though. It really is. Oi, Kora, what does your sassy old Moria girl know? Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> come on now, don't brush me aside like that. Oh, that's, that's really good. Yeah, I feel exactly the same way. <laughs> It's not only a really, really healthy friendship, because obviously these people are so bloody kind, but also the fact that they just have mutual feelings as well is really good. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> we smiled at each other. Yeah, honestly, it really is a blessing to be able to share in the happiness of others. Yeah, my god, definitely, and it's so rare as well. It really is. Hmm. Oh 
yeah, definitely, yeah. And it's great to be in a relationship where you can enjoy those naive feelings without any shame. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You're not sharing the happiness of others just at the expense of other people's misery, for example. Like, I don't know, in a bullying relationship where, you know, you'd be happy, you'd share the happiness, you'd obviously have the same feelings of happiness. I mean, if you were in a bully friend group, you probably wouldn't have, you know, the feelings that they're having of just wanting to resolve stuff. But just then. Oh, looks like somebody's here. Hmm? Is it Natsumi? Oh, it is Natsumi! Uh, the rooftop door swung open and Natsumi emerged. <gasps> oh my god, her eyes are moist, but her expression was filled to the brim with happiness. That's brilliant, yeah! The moment I saw that, I knew that I'd made the right choice. Couldn't agree more, yeah. Once again, my heart was completely convinced of that. Yeah, oh, that's so sweet. I mean, definitely though, seriously. I mean, yeah. Just from how happy she is, it obviously tells us that, you know, all of her feelings are, you know, not feel, really feeling fit, fitting in and not, um, you know, fully feeling like she can sort of keep up and, you know, talk to them about everything. It's brilliant that they're not really the case anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to be quite something. I did not expect this, but yeah. Let me guess, Tomoe, Oishi, maybe Akazaka. <laughs> I'm a bit late, huh? Tomoe wiped the strap from her forehead with a handkerchief and caught her breath while checking her watch in front of the meeting place. Oh. Oh, she's probably ran there. Despite... Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's summer, maybe. <laughs> Despite moving at a brisk pace, it looked, took at least 30 minutes to walk in from the station. Oh, damn. She did hear it was far away, so maybe she would have been better off taking a taxi instead of being so stingy. Oh, to be fair, at least you don't use up CO2 emissions from the taxi. And also, at least... I don't know, your pockets are... They have more, uh, money in them. <laughs> ah, yeah, anyway, this place even has a location in Kakiichi. <laughs> Hang on a second, she knows Angel Mort. What? She knows it here! Bruh! That's took all of the fun out of it. I'm not sure if I should be disgusted or impressed. <laughs> That's actually really quite surprising that she does know this place, though. Because she didn't in, uh, Kageboshi. She likely found- No, sorry, it's, uh, Taki Hogishi I'm thinking of. No, also Kage Boshi. No, no, no. Um, she likely frowned, then took a good look- uh, a good long look at the store with a bitter smile on her face. Maid care rest- Oh, maid care. Oh, yes. Maid cafe restaurant, Angel Mort. Famous for its colourful costumes and vibrant sweets, this restaurant train now had locations in urban areas all across the country. All across the country. What the fuck? Oh, God. Well, at least the Sonozaki family are profiting very much so from that. <laughs> but her first visit was at the Tokyo location with her first former boss, Yamaoki. Oh my god, of course. If you actually put two and two together, that was in 1982, this is in 1983. Oh my god. <laughs> god, that's so annoying. She was so overwhelmed by the strange atmosphere that she shouted from the bottom of her heart, I'm never ever coming by that. Or so she thought. You are never coming back on your own intuition, but when others exist. <laughs> Nevertheless, ever since that day, Tomoe was completely fascinated by the taste of the... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What? Okay, I am so surprised. Tomoe had been completely fascinated by the taste of the sweets the store had to offer. She'd been using her loyalty card to rack up a fair number of points up until today. <laughs> Why? I mean, I get that they have nice tasting food, but like still... To be fair, I don't know if I would... I think if this food from Angel Mort was, like, not only really cheap, but if it was something that, you know, I could never, ever find anywhere else, then maybe I would consider it. I can't blame her, but at the same time, it's just so weird. I mean, my God. <laughs> no, the truth is, when she pulled her membership card out of the jacket pocket, it was a dazzlingly gold colour. Oh, no. Calling it a fair number of points was a major understatement, not even close. Additionally, since female customers are something of a rarity, oh, oh, the waitresses at the Tokyo store recognize her as a regular customer. The, the moment they see her, 
Oh my god, that is that. Well, somebody's gonna stop um, having. Is he's gonna stop coming to Angel Mort now? <laughs> Although, there is another more intense reason why they recognize her. <sighs> it's probably just because of her outburst. <laughs> we just can't just stand around here. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely wasting valuable meeting time in a restaurant full of people that look like sluts. But yeah, let's not mention that. Nah, they don't look like sluts, actually. But they look very inappropriate, let's just say that. Don't worry, I remembered her meeting and quickly ran up the stairs. Then she opened the door and stepped inside. Oh, boy. Welcome home, my la- Home. My lady. That's creepy. Are you here alone? <laughs> that's actually really quite funny. That's the first question that's asked. <laughs> oh, no. I'm meeting someone here. As she said that, she looked over the shoulder of the waitress greeting her to check the shop. And a little, a little ways from the back, she noticed a raised hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. When Tomoe saw that, she turned and smiled and, um, and then waited for the waitress's mission before heading to the table. <laughs> it's Natsumi! Wait, what? I am so surprised. Oh, yeah, because obviously, okay, this story obviously follows, um, some, sorry, Toki Hogushi's timeline, because obviously in Toki Hogushi, you know, we had a really quite nice scene where, um, Tomoe and Natsumi, it was at the airport, they were talking, they were talking about something, I can't exactly remember what, right, I need to check this, because it actually has relevance, oh, shit, what were they talking about? It was a really significant theme, I remember that, but nothing much more. Tomoe basically changed Natsumi's entire life around, though. I remember that. Natsumi, where are you? Where in the fuck is Natsumi? Yo, she's here. Oh, yeah, it's the scene where, you know, she finds the motorcyclists. And obviously, she's really quite scared. Natsumi is. Um, and then the scene where... Um, she just learns about everything regarding Hinami's art from Oishi. Yeah, and just the proposition of the investigation with Nena's death. Oh god, where's the next one? Well, it's not going to be in the last one. Idiot. Yeah, it's not going to be in Hidanuma. And her murder. Uh, what about this? Because there's another scene. Yeah, here it is. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Anatomy was at the hospital. Tomoe was at the hospital because she wanted to have a chance of gathering Nena's medical records. So they just sort of, um, you know, talk about Kakiuchi here. Yeah, just how she's really quite scared about not being able to accept uh, her differences there. actually really quite interesting just them talking about their uh you know reluctancies and living differently really Yeah, and it's just really quite interesting. Ever since the beginning, she's just really been suffering just because, you know, she's not fully fitting in. Hmm, interesting. Alright, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm late. Did I keep you waiting? 
Why is it already wonder what this is gonna be about? Yeah, then then. No, not at all. Yeah, I'm actually really quite surprised that these people have um, maintained contact here. Uh, I just got it myself. By the way, why the hell is Natsumi picking Angel Mort out of every place? Like, seriously. The girl sitting on the far side of the table, Natsumi, shook her head and smiled happily. Yeah, despite what she said, the orange she's sitting in front of her was half empty and the ice was completely melted. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. She's still as humble as ever. Tomoe took a seat across from her and suddenly let out a chuckle as she looked at the glass. <laughs> Still, compared to when they first meet, um, she didn't order anything at their meetings and just drank water. And it um, seemed like she was feeling a little less reserved. Wait, hang on a second. So they've actually had meetings ever since they first met? Hmm. Hmm. Thinking that brought her a little happiness. Is something wrong? No, not really. <laughs> anyway, this is, yeah, I guess a, <coughs> a 29 year old police officer dating a, I don't know, like 14, 15, 16, 17. As you can see, I have a very good idea of how old Natsumi is, your old uh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, because of how frowned upon same sex marriages are. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, would you like something to drink? Hmm, mm, let me think. Oh my god, I can imagine Angel Mort doing really, really good milkshakes. It would be nice to have something sweet since there's been a while. Excuse me. Let me guess. Right, Tomoe has potential. She's either going to make me really fucking hungry and jealous, or she's not. Who knows? Tomoe raised her hand and called out to her waitress standing nearby. Then the waitress came running with a smile on her face and spread the menu out in front of her. And Tomoe said that the I circled the item in the right hand corner of the menu with her finger. What? They have all you can eat courses. In a dessert buff. Oh my fucking god, I'm jealous. Uh, about this all you can eat, ladies, because is that still available? Hi. Yes. All items are available at this location. Jesus. I am actually so jealous. Then, well, I mean, obviously it's not like a all you can eat dessert buffet, but at the same time, like, they probably just, this probably just makes you so, they probably just make so many desserts that they can actually, you know, um, uh, deliver over to them. Oh my god, then two orders of that place. For now, just bring all of the cakes on this page! Okay, I'm just doing that. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, hang on a second. Oh shit, how many cakes are there? Oh, don't worry, you don't have to bring them all at once. <laughs> I like a whole, and I like a hot coffee to go with it. Jesus fucking Christ. I think Tomoe is probably spending over 50 quid on desserts. Let's be honest here. Hang on a second. So the average, let's say the average dessert is 280 plus 300 plus 360. What's that? Uh, what's that? Six, uh, 940, 940 divided by 3. So average around, like, I don't know around really approximated 310 yen so i don't know like 310 times i'd assume they'd probably be like i don't know it kind of depends on the page size maybe 20 desserts in a page i don't know 20 times 310 6200 yen i mean so i don't know yeah 33 quid i mean obviously they'd probably be a lot more expensive if like the entire page was with cake related things yeah i don't know so like i don't know if you got an average of those three things and then times that by 20 i don't know so it could be around like 33 quid in theory i don't know that that would be really really weird oh my god i am so jealous of though them though genuinely oh my god if you can't tell i fucking love dessert like seriously Best meal. Better than main. Breakfast is the best. Oh, 
breakfast is the best meal. In other words, it's just an excuse to eat more dessert. <laughs> if you ever get yogurt and mix it with cocoa powder or jam, fucking brilliant stuff. That's actually really quite funny that some meetings, you know, she hasn't ordered anything. And then she's just doing this. <laughs> the waitress's eyes open wide in disbelief at Domwe's order. <laughs> Nevertheless, she bowed and headed to the kitchen to fulfill her duties. Not to be let out an amused giggle as she watched the waitress go. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, definitely. You're as incredible as ever. Oh my god! Now I see why Tomoe is such a significant customer. You're as incredible as ever. Meanwhile, I feel full after just a single cake. That still doesn't justify eating like literal Nikocado sized meals each time. I mean, my god. Okay, that is a real overstatement, but like still eating really, really big meals. Hmm. Well, it's just because I'm really active and my job requires me to constantly use my head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Food is nice, but at the same time, what she does is unhealthy. Let's be honest here. They say it's not very ladylike, but if I hold back on things like this, I get less joy out of life. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, there was a huge commotion like the place being turned upside down. Oh my god, is that just because of the size of her order? Oh. Ch Chief? Chief? Could it be that woman is? Wait, hang on a second, what? Do these people know her? Yes, no doubt about it. <laughs> That's Miss Quadru Miss Quadruple. That is a very cheesy and shit name. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but <laughs> what? What? How the genuine fuck? <laughs> Literally the female Mark Rober. Is, is that the right person I'm thinking about? Wait, I just gotta see. Wait, which one is the... Uh... Oh no, I'm thinking of Matt Stoney. Yeah. Oh my god. I always got them too confused for some reason. Literal female Matt Stoney though. Holy shit. <laughs> How does she eat so much though? I mean, I can eat a shit ton. Don't get me wrong, but I cannot eat this much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, though, that's so impressive. <laughs> All the stuff suddenly turned and gawked at the faxed picture, picture from the head office hanging on the wall. What? <laughs> oh my god, so they... They have, she's ate so much that they literally have a poster of her face for whenever ever they come into the store. Oh my God. It was a close up black and white photo of a woman with a vague smile on her face, but it felt more like a wanted poster. You see on a police box. Yeah, a wanted poster for a police woman. <laughs> Below that was a caption wicked in thick red marker, beware. <laughs> Okay, I can understand why they have a beware sign. Jesus Christ. But the Tokyo location has full-size cakes intended for parties on the menu back then, right? Oh, hat, what the fuck? These are too big for even a party of 10 to finish. <laughs> That's not even it. She ate four of those as well as four of everything else on the menu. Fucking hell. <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck? So that's like 80 parfaits that she's had. Is she struggling at the maths? <laughs> I mean, she does work at Angel Mort, so I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe she's just a part time worker. That could be. Maybe she's a student. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this so much though. <laughs> so, so don't, <laughs> don't try to imagine it. <laughs> it went up holding you in a new dress. I mean, to be fair, it is actually really quite nice that she's been able to do this. I mean, how the fuck is it even possible? I mean, I'm assuming that one parfait could probably fill you. But plus. <laughs> this is fucking crap. <laughs> I heard they cancelled the food battle at the Kanto Spring, um, Spring Dessert Festival. She won the Winterfest in all three categories Volume, Speed, and Connoisseur. Connoisseur, I think, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my god, I can imagine getting Tomoe. I can getting Tomoe. Holy shit, that would be weird. Tomoe getting. Yeah, let's just not make the sentence sound totally fucking weird. Um Tomoe getting totally heated at stuff like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the staff of the Kakuyuchi location actually witnessed the scene. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. However, the people who witnessed it described it as a tragedy and turned pale any time they spoke of it. I mean, to be fair, you have some of the most degenerative weebs here. So, yeah, their, win their view of a tragedy. I mean... <laughs> in the first place, I've never met anybody somebody dressed in red um, who turned out to be any. <laughs> right, so whenever I imagine Tom Moore, I just imagine a black hole. That sounds very weird. <laughs> sound, well, Tom Moore's mouth, let's say. I'm sure that's what a black hole looks like as it's devouring asteroids and planets. Oh God, no, no, definitely not. I mean, the fact that she can firstly do this and secondly that she's thin. I mean, it's just so surprising. It's not that she had an iron stomach or her whole body was a stomach or something cheap like that. <laughs> yeah, but we caught a, a glimpse of is if something far, far more terrifying. <laughs> yeah, they barely believed any of those words. Oh, but when they see it, <laughs> no, that wasn't it. They didn't want to believe it. Because much like how Sumo Wrestler does a macho um, super member concepts that didn't belong together. <laughs> Lady and Glass Super concepts that should never be combined, right? I think that that definitely doesn't apply to modern society. It's <laughs> 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 so funny that even if it's all done part of a part of a legitimate business transaction, it's way it, in a way it's far more disruptive than a chronic complaint. A chronic one as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, these people should probably focus on actually getting a war with her. <laughs> Calling every Patissa, Patissa, you're on break. <laughs> we're gonna have to pull a scramble shift on the same scale as Christmas sales if we're gonna survive this. <laughs> survive it, I love that. Understood. <laughs> well, it definitely looks like they're gonna have. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, by tomorrow, Tom Moe will be famous or rather infamous at the Kakiuchi location, nevertheless. <laughs> There's one answer to that revenue. <laughs>
<laughs> this person is actually baby raging. Oh my god. That's like a duck strolling up to a pot holding a league and covered in miso. <laughs> yep, just to be cooked alive. Yeah, but at the same time. <laughs> That's just so funny. They never expect ladies to be complete fucking gluttons. But at the same time, you literally have, like, the top one in the country at this point. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so that's the head chef, right? The head chef cursed the store manager for completely failing to understand the horrifying notion that woman, the women have a second stomach for desserts. <laughs> she has, like, 40. <laughs> Beyond the hustle and bustle in the kitchen. Somewhere, Natsumi, um, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's just really quite funny. They're having fun at the expense of other people's suffering. And Tomoe and Natsumi were having an enjoyable chat in front, in full of, full of friendly atmosphere. Oh, well, she definitely does, yeah. Yeah, she, she really does look different with her, you know, casual outfit and then just, um, you know, her really quite long hair. You really look so different. <laughs> That's actually quite lucky that she did. Yeah, if you hadn't have waved your hand, I probably wouldn't have noticed you for a while. By the way, I'm interested in um, Miyotsuka Shimatsuri. Uh, does she have this long haircut? Like, part 13, maybe? Oh, shit. You, wait, no. Because I remember one time I've asked you being really quite early. Uh, part 10, maybe? Oh, it's Tommy Takia. The, no. Oh, yeah, not to me, too. Oh, no, she doesn't actually have her, um, you know, usual haircut that she's having here. <laughs> <laughs> You're exaggerating, Tomoe san. <laughs> More importantly, how did it go? Oh, was everybody surprised to see your hair? <laughs> That's actually really quite funny. I wonder if they thought about it. <laughs> yeah, super surprised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, they must be really quite close. Yeah, and Chisato Jan and everybody else told me it looked nice and it really suited me. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, she was actually really quite reluctant on, you know, getting a new makeover, I suppose. Here, you see, I told you it would be okay. Yeah, fair. The straight and long hairstyle has been an icon of beauty since ancient times. Since ancient times. I mean, it's not wrong. Perfectly natural as well. Do you have a little more faith in my judgment now? <laughs> Not to me laughed and nodded while bashfully running her fingers through her hair. Tomoe had told her from the start that it would be alright, but she was worried about how the class might react, so those responses brought her that much more joy. Yeah, I do find that really quite interesting. I mean, Natsumi's obviously really not only concerned about how she doesn't fit in, but obviously if things like this cause her to potentially fit in less because of, you know, less acceptance from, you know, disapproval of other people, that could potentially be her, you know, concern. ね、夏美さん。世界変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私は変わった。ああ、私
Yeah, not something tightly held her hand against her chest and firmly nodded back to her. Yeah, even though it, even though, um, even thought, <laughs> even though it was already nighttime, there was something dazzlingly bright in her field of view, and it wasn't just a trick of the lighting. Hmm, is it just her eyes, or how they're shining, or something like that? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. It was just a few days ago that Natsumi decided to change up her hairstyle. On the way back from her part-time job while taking shelter in front of Kakiyuchi Station during a sudden rain shower, she happened to run into Tomoe who was in the middle of heading to the police station. Oh right, and the conversation at the and at the conversation at the time was what triggered it, really? Wait, so what were they talking about? Oh, Let me guess they were talking about some sort of significant icon. Oh Natsumi san? Uh, oh, good, good afternoon. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Guess we're full by warning um, weather forecast too. Uh, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> the bastards. Nazimu um, brushfully looked up at the gloomy sky as she answered. The sky was so dark and stagnant that it looked like it was almost nightfall, but it probably was just the rain. If they really waited, a, if they waited a little um, while, it would probably let up. Yeah. God, yeah, I hate it when that happens. I mean, sometimes it is really quite nice, but most of the time it's really unpleasant, especially in the if you're in the middle of somewhere. Hmm. But the rain started well before she was able to take shelter under the roof. Oh no. So her wet clothes and hair were uncomfortably clinging to her skin. That is a nightmare that. She tried to wipe herself down with a handkerchief but it was so small it quietly it quickly becomes soggy and useless. <laughs> that moment. Oh. Huh? A soft object was suddenly draped over her head blocking her view. It was a towel. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that really is. And when she lightly moved it out of her eyes, um, she found Tomoe there, smiling at her. Tomoe-san? Tomoe-san? Here, you can borrow this. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's obviously nice the thought, but if I had somebody that literally wiped their sweat on a towel, and obviously them offering me to borrow it. I don't really think I want to accept it. If it was a situation of desperation, sure, but like any other situation, nah. I'm a pretty sweaty person, so hand handkerchiefs um, don't always get the job done. Okay, okay, yeah, that's good then. <laughs> or maybe that was a lie, who knows? Oh, don't worry, this one hasn't been used yet. Thanks. I think it would be rude to refuse the favour at this point. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Not to me shrugged her shoulders and offered her thanks. And the truth is, she really did think she'd catch a cold if she remained the way she was. Understandable, yeah. The <laughs> 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 worst that was so, um, was surprisingly absorbent, like um, some desire for Raph's leads. Oh, right, that's interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if Don Moy is just the person investing in the best stuff. A fragrant um, scent tickled her nose and made her feel um, very comfortable. That's quite nice. <laughs> this isn't detergent. What is this scent? Hmm. In before it's just perfume. <laughs> Think of that, and while um wiping her hair down like she was combing it, um Natsumi suddenly thought caught her finger on a knot. Oh. And to make it work, uh, worst, her elastic hair tie came out in the process, causing her bun to come undone and her carefully tied hair to spill out over and pull down. Oh, that is annoying. Oh, God. Yeah, and I can imagine. I mean, she's female. Of course, she's going to be, like, totally conscious of her hair. I mean, like, every girl I'm, I've seen has had some sort of conscience with hair, you know?
try to set it back up in a hurry, but it usually takes several minutes to tie it in the morning, and it would be especially difficult right now since she didn't have a mirror. Oh, yeah, that must actually be really quite annoying. I wonder if she just thought, like, I cannot be bothered. So as a result, she stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, does Domoware just really notice um, how cool she looks with, you know, really long hair? Hmm? Um, uh, what is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my god. I mean, if this, if Natsumi had actually, um, you know, done this, if this story was actually in timeline, uh, sorry, if this order, uh, chronological, chronologically ordered story, then yeah, this would have been the first time we'd seen her with hair like this as well. This is the first time I've seen you with your hair down, Natsumi. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You have very beautiful hair. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> You think so? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's moving glossy. You spend a lot of time washing your hair, don't you? Oh, right. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't look that nice without um, consistent treatment. Oh, that's actually really quite interesting. I didn't realize that, but yeah, that's fair. I mean, hair treatment's overrated. I think it's a sad thing to spend your time on, but yeah. It's still really quite nice, you know, obviously these people care about their hair. I mean, I think that's kind of sad, but at the same time, I I mean, they're nice. It's fine. <laughs> Embarrassed by Tom Wise. Like, obviously, if she was being an asshole about it, then I would care, but yeah. <laughs> Embarrassed by um, Tom Wise's impressions, not to me, suddenly looked away to hide her burning cheeks. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, even if it was flattering, she couldn't quite handle handle and being called beautiful oh my god that's fair enough i mean she probably is rarely called it i mean obviously a lot of people really quite like her but yeah at the same time it's just really quite difficult yeah. Yeah, and it's hard to notice when it's wrapped in buns but it's actually quite long it is actually i'm really quite surprised at how long it is i mean my god not only does it go like you know down to where down to basically where her legs begin but it also is really, really quite wide as well. It's, it's really long, like genuinely. Yeah, I think it would be rather cute to leave it straight and flowing. Oh. Huh? Oh yeah, she's probably just really quite surprised, like you know, keeping it straight, keeping it flowing, like what? She hasn't done this at all, and she's so used to, you know, um, completely arranging her hair in the morning, taking several minutes to do so. For some reason, Natsumi suddenly turned her gaze downward and started looking gloomy. Seeing, sensing the discomfort in that reaction, Tomoe ran um, through her words again in her head, wondering if um, she said something weird, but before she could say anything, Natsumi muttered a response. Hmm. Oh. I used to leave my hair down like this before. But, but... Oh. In my old town, I got a bad nickname. Oh. I've heard that name before from Higadashi, but I don't know what it is. It's some sort of ethereal being, I don't know, though. They, um, some long hair made me look like a ghost, so they call me Zashiki Warashi. Yes, I remember that before. Oh, God. Oh, that's really quite unfortunate, um... If, you know, she's potentially getting bullied for it, I mean, or has gotten bullied for it. Oh, is this like a...
So it looks like some sort of spiritual being that um, is child and haunts people. Yeah, God. Oh, that's awful. So, you know, this probably really, really... This um, accidental change here really um, allowed her to have bad memories. And obviously the fact that... I mean, obviously she would have had her, have to have her hair, like, for example, when washing her hair, she would have had to have it down. But, yeah, I suppose just having it down in public, that's probably the difference and why it's so significant to her now. Zaskiwarashi, but isn't that a goat with a bobcat? A bobcat. Yeah, I don't see the resemblance at all. Yeah, what is a bobcat? Ugh, that is so bad. Oh my god. That's very ugly. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> the boy couldn't help but laugh, amazed by their poor naming sense and vocabulary. Oh my god, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Although most of the nicknames children come up with are uh, completely basis. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to make it sound like the most unpleasant thing? Oh, it's probably because of, you know, how she acted and how um, concealed and just shy and unfriendly she acted. Oh, at least say it looks like a snow fairy or something. Oh my god, I remember that um, scene, you remember where, uh, I think someone someone had actually provoked Natsumi for some reason whatsoever, it was a fragment and, you know, she, she basically stabbed them with the scissors, um, just because they were, I think they were threatening to steal hers or something like that, they just provoked her so much that she actually did that, that was awful. Or maybe Snow White, nah, that doesn't work. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's awful. So you, you know, get a shy kid and then you obviously make them feel as bad as possible. Oh, wow, that sounds familiar. Yeah, definitely not thinking of anybody apart from myself here. Yeah, but I was really feeling about them and not as good as talking with people. Oh, oh that's awful, yeah. Yeah, so I wasn't strong enough to tell them to stop. So the name, and so the name struck after that. Yeah. I see. Were you still in elementary school back then? Hmm. Natsumi remained oh, silent and nodded. Upon hearing that, Tomoe recalled um, that she had gone from a experience, similar experience of her own, then stopped smiling and clicked her tongue. Oh, God, even Tomoe's got bullied. I'm actually really quite surprised. I would have thought Tomoe would be, you know, the person that could completely overthrow the bully. Never mind the person actually getting stuff. Never changes. Nope. That will never, ever stop happening. Young children can, before puberty, especially the boys, have a tendency to tease girls and make fun of them. Yeah, fair. Before? Why not after? That's definitely true for after as well. Hmm. The ones who mature fastest like, look the most stylish or have um, long hair are likely to be targeted. Essentially... Yeah, especially the ones who show the strongest sexual... The fuck is dimorphism? Oh. Also just, you know, strongest characteristics brought on by puberty. Yeah.
interesting, that. In many cases, it's like the flip side of um, shyness that emanates f um, from some form of longing. Uh, that's actually really quite interesting, that. Yeah. Because I suppose you would get... Longing to talk with people and being unable to actually have the courage to do so. So as a result, becoming more shy. That's an example I can think of. It's nothing more than an act of wanting to make people pay attention to you. Hmm. However, in some cases, their mental state is far too underdeveloped, so they take it too far and end up de deeply hurting their target. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, the listener will overinterpret it to and take it to heart. Yeah, exactly. That is so true, though, seriously. Which can have a negative effect on their interpersonal development. Yeah, you can so tell she's taken psychology. Oh my god. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and her personal development was completely screwed just because of the whole um. You know, brain damage thing that she actually, well, not really brain damage thing that she had, but just the need for pharmaceuticals that she actually required, and you know, what actually happened with her as well. I'm sure she went through that too. Tomoe had known for a while that Natsumi was a particularly sensitive girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, fair, yeah. And so, given that personality, it was especially likely that unpleasant past memories could remain traumatizing, even if she grew early older. Yeah, yeah, fair. I mean, I mean, with my sort of, you know, worst sort of memories at school, I don't want to fucking remember them. No way. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying they're traumatizing, but like, let's just say it's a lie. Like, if I, when I'm, you know, 20 years older or something like that, like if I'm alive, um, then like I'll obviously not want to look back on that part of my life and just completely deny its existence as opposed to thinking it's completely traumatizing and that could um, develop into a type of inferiority complex yeah yeah such mean-spirited brats put a little more welly into your words such dickish arseholes boom that's your sentence in slime <laughs> if i was in your shoes i'd definitely beat the shit <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd not some sense into them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be a lot more convenient. She'd be able to stay up late. Sorry, um, you know, get up, uh, get up later. Um, actually, I'm not very good at tying my hair, so leaving it down would be nice. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. God, it really is quite awful that, but I mean, obviously everybody gets it, but just for especially a uh, sensitive girl like Natsumi to get these really crappily chosen nicknames. Yeah. Allocated to her. Yeah, look the most stylish, definitely, because of jealousy. tricky. Oh, it be okay just to ignore it. Oh, no, 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 don't think that at all. Compared to somebody as self confident as you, Tomoe san, I must look pathetic. No, I'm too weak. Don't think that. Not to me, son. She's had a hard life. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more, yeah. And Tomoe couldn't help but mutter that to herself. She has, yeah. She was a gentle, quiet, and adorable girl. 
In fact, it was no exaggeration to say that she had all the qualifications necessary to call qualifications necessary to call her a beautiful girl. Yeah, fair. Nevertheless, all those aspects of her beauty actually had a negative impact. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just really quite sad that, and obviously as a result of that, she sort of felt discouraged to, you know, show people how beautiful she truly is, I suppose. That endured even to the present day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Since she's modest, she won't talk back to her aggressors in a fierce time. No, definitely not, yeah. Since she's kind, she lets all of her disconnect, sorry, discontent um, accumulate within herself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and obviously she's not going to take it out on these other people because firstly, she doesn't have the bravery or the social skill to do so. And secondly, like, she is kind. Yeah. And since she's diligent and obedient, she looks for the reasoning behind the things they say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Which um, actually makes it difficult for her to escape that negative mindset. Yeah, as a result, she continues to be dragged down by past slander and her lack of self-confidence persists even now. Yeah, and it's actually really quite interesting that you can make so much of a deduction. She can really make so much um, deductions about a person just simply from, you know, stuff like this. I mean, my God. Yeah, my God, it must have. I mean, things in the childhood, they definitely do. Their effects really will persist. I mean, yeah, that's interesting, that. Oh, it's awful, though. I mean, so I think this bullying and obviously the slandering for her just truly being herself and, you know, not feeling any sort of, you know, hesitation to have a, you know, a cut, a haircut she likes and stuff like that and just being herself in terms of how she looks. That getting, you know, looked down on in really early years must have really destroyed her confidence along with, um, you know, the whole stuff she had with her brain and um really quite nervous stuff and also the forcing of schoolwork that must have added so much to an issue like that Yeah, it's actually really quite interesting. I suppose you have a thing and then you have a situation and then if you look through the reasoning behind the situation, that will just add more sadness because then you have the, especially if it's within a friend related uh, conflict, like just why has this person decided to do this thing that, you know, affects me so badly. So that corrupted her down to her core, huh? Yeah, my god, definitely. Tom, I gently sighed while, sighed while um, watching the flow of people were folding up their umbrellas as they passed through the ticket gate. Hmm. It's easy to tell somebody to cheer up when you're in a better position. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. At the very least, if you lightly smile and talk down the problem, the surrounding atmosphere will return to normal and the conversation will end there. Yeah. But Tomoe shook her head. At this rate, Natsumi will continue to carry these worries for a long time coming. Oh, good for her. So she's really going to try and change her. And just so that, you know, she isn't going to feel these worries for a long time. Good. Yeah, I can't just leave it at that. That's brilliant. I wonder how she's actually going to potentially uh, help her. She didn't need anybody saying anything to know that this might be considered Mendelssohn. Oh, this is a good, you know good intrusion if that's even a thing yeah but for somebody in that state all they need is the time to come to a decision and someone someone who can trigger it yeah fair she will have time and obviously she needs encouragement as well yeah although it might be arrogant and presumptuous to believe that she was in that position right now yeah that is actually fair enough i mean but at the same time she's just had a reminder and she is kind of in her worst point just because of you know the reminder of her past you know school bullying so maybe 
when she's in her weaker state to make her thoughts change as much as possible may be good. Oh. Oh, it's fine, meddling it is. Oh, is she actually going to talk to her? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, having come to a decision, Tomoe gently stroked Natsumi's head as she continued hiding her face behind the towel. And when the girl looked up with a dubious expression, Tomoe slowly spoke up. Spoke oh, good for her. really quite nice i think it's so nice that she's really going to try and help this confidence completely um this no not confidence you know the opposite of confidence doubt natsumi-san natsumi-san actually i'm sort of personality i have <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my hands are faster than my mouth, so I got into fights with boys all the time. Ah, that's actually really quite funny. We just say that when she says, like, I would have beat the shit out of these people. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> Plus, my height and like this, and my chest, well, like this. Oh. Yeah, that's actually really quite interesting, that subtle thing. You remember when the, um, you know, I think it was the people over at the, the delinquents over at the, um, Okinomiya. I can't remember, just some place in Okinomiya that, um, you know, they were trying to, they were trying to just pick up a fight with her. Yeah, they definitely made fun of her for being a man. And she, like this, obviously, start, uh, start obviously began really really got mad she has a big hatred to whenever people call her a man man like person and plus my height like this and my chest well like this i was rather jealous of my class size who looked um good in a one piece one piece reference yo let's go in a one piece so there were times i felt disheartened by my lack of femininity yeah that's fair enough i mean my god tomoe is i mean she's tough as fuck but at the same time she isn't really the biggest person in terms of height yeah, fair. I actually felt really depressed about it. It must have been a nightmare that, you know, having those things and yet trying to be an athlete. Really, Tomoe-san? It's nice that she's saying this, you know, adding a bit of relationship. Oh, of course, I was a maiden in my own way back in the school with the Oh, God, please don't tell me that. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's awful. Oh my god, I mean, obviously this wouldn't apply to Natsumi, but like this, this being told to Natsumi right before she's gonna, you know, right before Akira's gonna confess to her. Oh my god. Yeah, if Natsumi was the one doing the confessing, it would have had a negative effect, but I think because Natsumi's the one accepting it, she would not want this to happen to her, and obviously to Akira as well, so she would actually feel more inclined to do so. Of course, I was a maiden in my own way back in my school days. There were people I had crushes on, and I got a flat out rejected after confessing to them countless times. That really is so god. Oh god. Yeah, but at the same time, when you do this, you completely change yourself. And it's fake as well. It's just to look more appealing to people. It's not actually to, you know, get somebody. If you if you meet somebody that, you know, you the only reason you met them is because you've tried to make yourself look more appealing and they've fallen for it. Yeah, it's, chances have it that that's not going to be a very long-lasting relationship. Let's just say that. So I started asking myself, how do I become more pretty? How can I make myself more appealing to men? Oh. Oh, There's no point. Relationships are overrated. But looking back on it now, I want to laugh at those problems. I wanted to. I tried to do all sorts of impossible things to stretch myself along my limits. Hmm. But even so, right, this is where she changes it around. Oh my god. Don't wear her shoulders with a bitter smile on her face and spoke in as soft as the tiny she can muster. Yeah, nice. By the way, I'm going to turn the music up.
なたが私になれないように、私もあなたにはなれない。かわいい子、おしとやかな女性。今でもちょっとは憧れるけど、残念ながら、私とは適性が違うのよね。Cutie girl or a graceful lady, even now I just feel I feel still a bit of a yearning to be like that. But unfortunately, that's just not me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. I agree. Yeah, so at some point I had a breakthrough and realized that the best thing to do is simply be yourself. I agree, though. Oh my god. I mean, I've really faced this. I mean, I don't really want to talk about much, it, that much, but like, of course. Yeah, just be your fucking self. Yeah, don't try to, you know, completely change yourself to fit with the size of others. No way. Yes. Oh, I love this. That's so well put, yeah. To put it plainly, continue living life as naturally as it naturally comes to you. Accept whatever praise you receive from others and do your best to believe in yourself. And let that confidence show. Yeah, let it show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, do try to fix any shortcoming that can make other people feel uncomfortable. But if you're overly self conscious of that, you're more likely to hide those flaws rather than fix them. Yeah. Interesting, that. Bomoe would genuinely be such a good therapist, and she is actually qualified to do it as well. The amount of lives of, you know, just young people that she's actually turned around, it's so fucking nice. It really is. Hmm. Fixing versus hiding your shortcomings. Those two responses are very similar, and the latter can often be achieved without the host even realizing. The host? Oh, come on, why are you saying the host? Say the person. I suppose the host of those emotions. I, it's just such a weird way of putting it. But, like, so, if you don't want to be told you're. If you don't want to be told you're a poor speaker, simply don't join the conversation in the first place. Mmm. If you don't want people pointing out that you're weak, will don't interact with people at all. Yeah, yeah, and it really spirals down. But that act won't eliminate or mitigate your shortcomings. You're actually missing out on the opportunity to do so. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and you can't let others see that you're hiding how you feel, so that that shame casts a shadow on your heart, leading to a real possibility of developing, yeah, inferiority complexes or self-loathing as well. Yeah, 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 that's very true. <laughs> Yeah, it isn't though. Yeah, and I found that really quite interesting. This is definitely what, you know, made her begin just fessing up, if you like, to Natsumi and Natsumi? Oh, yes, Natsumi confessing to Natsumi. Well, in her head, I suppose. She has done that, but oh, sorry, I meant Chisato and Marco. Right. Right. Right, and think, yeah, nice. Right, and I think I looked, um, I realized that because I looked at myself and was able to see both the good and bad. Hmm. No, I agree though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
that's really quite nice though. とりあえず男勝りで頑固一徹って女性の評価らしくないけどそこがいいって言ってくれた人がいたからそれを信じてやってみた Anyway, being stubborn and strong minded may not have earned me many points as a woman, but other people told me it was a good thing, so I decided to believe it. Yeah. Yeah, it felt easy and natural. You shouldn't try and be somebody you're not. I mean, my God, you'd be so much more unhappy. Gasats de Tsmeno, a my ketenga detecta cara, Shui no Hitotachi ni mewa co kakena yoni, Scosizuts and Osco to Kokoroga keta. And then I started to notice. Um, started noticing these shortcomings while doing that, and little by little, I tried to fix them so I'd be a less of an annoyance to others. Yeah, yeah, and that's who I am now. God, that is actually really quite interesting. So, obviously, she's not, um, you know, she's not completely avoided the problems, which I mean, obviously, the problem you would have thought the problems wouldn't persist originally when trying to hide from them, but no, so not the case. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. Natsumi suddenly looked back on herself with Tomoe's words circling over and over inside her head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, this is so good, though. Seriously, knowing somebody like Tomoe is going to get you through shit. I mean, genuinely. <laughs> It's actually really quite funny. I think this conversation alone could have prevented the entirety of Soma Uchishi and Kageboshi's uh, tragedies, obviously, because it leads to the conversation with Chisato and Tamako, which leads to their trust. And obviously, if the gas disaster does happen, they will be in it together. How? How had she been facing up herself up until now? No, she, has she ever really faced herself at all? Oh, I like that. Yeah, she was always con conscious of the shortcomings that made things different, difficult for others, and that her parents, and that her parents pointed out to her. Hmm. And she had been trying over and over to improve him through trial and error. Then. But. Well, the things she actually did, think fixing things. Oh, her gloomy personality, her melancholy appearance, her lack of special skills to entertain others, and her general lack of conversation ability. Yeah. So instead of you know just completely hiding away from the problem, you know. Fix it. Try. I mean, it's very, very hard to do it, but you need to try if you want to progress in life. I mean, it's you have pressure, but at the same time, you need to. Yeah, yeah. She spent the whole time trying to hide them rather than fix them. I agree. So she was scared of um, other people learning about that. Oh yeah, and that's just going to make her want to hide it even more. She was worried those fools would inadvertently emerge sometime. That guilt and hesitation made her feel inferior, and it weighed. Yeah, yeah, it weighed heavily on her heart. Yeah, fair. But, hmm. I can't think of it that way. Hmm. Wonder why. Yeah, yeah. 
なただから。Hmm. Yeah, I think the only thing is, I suppose you can use that exact analogy to, you know, prove that she needs to become strong herself, then. Tomoe san, you're able to say that because you're strong. She really feels. Oh, I wonder what she's going to say. I'm sorry if this is rude for me to say. Oh. Hmm, but I can't be that rational when I can't believe in myself like that. I wonder what Tomo is actually going to say. I wonder what Tomo is actually going to say. I wonder what Tomo is actually going to say. I wonder what Tomo is actually going to say. I wonder what Tomo is actually going to say. Oh god, I can't think of anything good about myself. And people only point out the bad things. So I can't just brush it off like it's nothing. Well, that's actually really quite interesting that she's interpreted, you know, everybody to only point out the bad things about her. Hmm. So I can't be like you. I can't be like you. Oh god, Tomoe really needs to say something. I, I don't really know how how she could potentially turn this back, but I think she still can. Oh god, I feel bad for her though. That must be really quite awful just seeing somebody that you know is really really trying to advise them well, but at the same time just, you know, not being able to fully relate. And as a result, I think if Tomoe said nothing right now, she probably wouldn't take this advice to heart because she wouldn't actually be able to. Uh, I suppose. Fully gain a picture from it just because it feels so out of her league, really. Nasumi gently looked down and muttered that with the towel still on her head. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that towel. Yeah. Even though she knew it was a miserable thing to say, even she knew it was a miserable thing to say, but she couldn't help but saying, saying it. Yeah, fair. It's better to be honest, yeah. A strong person with the confidence to take on anything and a sense of superiority over others completely can easily overcome pain and hardship. Yeah, that is if they even have pain and hardship for, you know, situations like these. But for those who don't, the mere act of making an effort is painful and trying. Definitely. Their circumstances were completely different, so somebody like Don Moyer, who was excellent at everything, couldn't understand her feelings. Yeah, that's fair. But at the same time, she was never always excellent. There is still a sort of small degree that she can actually understand things too. It's just really quite sad seeing how little confidence Natsumi actually has in her, so. At the same time, me these type of people don't really have much empathy and character. <laughs> I've found. <laughs> yeah. She, she was sincerely looking out for Natsumi. No, definitely. But as long as there was that huge disparity between them, she was ultimately just imposing, imposing her own selfish values on the girl. Yeah, yeah. Interesting that that's the thought. They need to... She really, really needs to make it so that... I, I suppose you could still fit that into the category of imposing selfish values if like, you ask her to... Um, you know improve and become more like her however ooh. <laughs> oh i wonder what she's gonna do natsumi-san didn't you notice oh just now you said the same thing i did oh now that is interesting yeah try and relate it nice huh oh Natsumi suddenly looked up in response to Tomoe's laughter and began to blush as she thought about the words she just said. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, 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 definitely. It was just as she said, though the emotions behind them were the complete opposite, the actual words were the same. Yeah. 
あなたにできる範囲とやり方を探し出せばいいのそれは新しい何かを見つけ出してそれを身につける努力じゃない yeah, I'm not about talking. I'm not talking about finding something completely new and changing yourself to suit it. No. Yeah. 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 It's about changing your perspective and way of thinking. Just take a close up view of some aspect of yourself and moderately embellish. It. Yeah. Change your perspective and way of thinking. Eh. そういうこと。ライエグザクトゼロから and you do have nice qualities of your own that I lack, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, like your hair, for example. Yeah, make it feel as valued as possible. Brilliant. That's actually really quite nice. I mean, I would normally say it's creepy, but I suppose it's just a sign of friendship, love, stuff like that. Well, not really love, but like, I don't know, confidence. Tomoya gently rubbed her fingers through Natsumi's moist hair as she said that. Despite being tied up until a few minutes ago, her long dark hair was completely straight. Yeah, and a smooth feel in Tomoya's hand. <laughs> and had a smooth feel in Tomoya's hand like it was bathed in it. Oh, Jesus Christ. She really take care, takes care of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about this is ghost like? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think this hair is beautiful. Honestly, I'm so envious. I mean, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, definitely. This is really quite funny, but one accidental slip up has caused, you know, Natsumi to potentially have some of the best advice about, you know, changing herself and never ever being the same and just, you know, not hiding against your problems, fixing them, acknowledging them, changing yourself. Being your own person as well. It's a key theme of this. I love the song You so much. Oh my god. I'm so gonna miss that. And when I go to Umineko, no soundtracks like this. Oh, it's so beautiful. It really is an amazing piece, seriously. It's completely brings to life all of the happy emotion that I feel right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely though, yeah. It's probably the same way. With the strong and weak points of your personality. That's why, if you think about it, you can't be able to be able to be able to be able to be that's why if you try to hide something you think is a shortcoming, you lose the opportunity to um, see that it might actually be an advantage. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah! This is actually really quite interesting. So, it's if you try to hide something that you think why would you say sh a shortcoming? I want to get the exact meaning so I know how to interpret this. Yeah, fault or failure to meet a certain standard. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. 
yeah, if you hire something that, you know, may fail to meet some sort of expectation, then, yeah, you lose the opportunity to see that that failure may be an advantage. Interesting. The failure is not only an advantage because maybe just the failure could be an advantage in general, but also because you changing yourself and leading to a better person out of you. Yeah, of course that would be an advantage. Yeah, yeah, fair. Plus, your values and impressions change with um, the time and place. Yeah, so you can't look at things in a one-sided way. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, definitely. People that don't know you whatsoever. Strong and weak points can easily be flipped from around around from an outsider's outside viewer's perspective. Yeah, After all, some people look at wildflowers and say they're beautiful, while others just say they're weeds, right? Weed. That's good. Oh yeah, definitely. The same person can even have different impressions of the same thing depending on their emotional state at the time. <laughs> but the important thing isn't focusing on which one of those is correct. Mm. Yeah, it's about how the people close to you, the people you like think. Right? Hi. Yeah. Every word Tom Wife said felt so warm. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, it was different from the heart. Hearted lib service and obnoxious praising she'd heard before. Oh, no, definitely not. I mean, Tom Wife is just something else. Yeah. I love that lib service. Uh, that's interesting. I really wonder if um, this is from therapy. Yeah, Tom Wife was offering her own advice and encouragement because she genuinely cared about her. Oh, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a strong belief in there, full of trust in others. Full of hope in others as well. I mean, even though this is one of our biggest downfalls in terms of, you know, detective related work, it's brilliant here. It, oh my god. It's a downfall, and yet it is something that is so damn good. And yet, little by little. Wait, hang on a second. I suppose it would have been a downfall beforehand, but, you know, it probably is a little bit better here because of obviously the changes she'd have, she'd, um, have had to undergo because of Nagisa's case. Which I'd assume in Kaguya Borsi and some of she, she wouldn't have actually investigated because, let's be honest, we would have read about them if earlier if she did. So, little by little, the stifling stagnation that had been accumulated in Natsumi's chest for a while now gradually disappeared. She felt the strength returning to her stiff neck and shoulder. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, all the unease, all of the, you know, I'm so stressed that I can't move. It's disappeared. Natsumi-san. Natsumi-san. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, yeah she really, really, uh... You know, fits well with her friends because they're exactly the same. I can't say what you think of yourself. I can't say what you think of yourself, but I think you're kind, honest, and accepting. Yeah. Oh, these, those are all good qualities you should be proud of. Qualities I don't have. I think that is definitely false, but okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I can agree more. Though. They are really good, and I think it's just so nice she's being as nice as possible. She's just genuinely so kind, though, seriously. At the very least, I think they're exceptional. I love that about you. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, so I want you to be confident and proud of yourself and stop worrying about, you know, how difficult it is to fit in and, you know, apply with everything and I suppose all your problems, like, stop making, stop beating yourself up because of them. Um, um. Oh my god, she's probably just so perplexed because of how much he's actually caring for her.
Yeah, oh my god, fair. Now I find it really quite interesting that, yeah. And Natomi bashfully turned her gaze downward when she heard the word love being said so directly. Maybe that's why she said that to her friends, um, just there, went, like, you know, saying she loved them, just because she knows the effect that word can have. It's just the first time, it was the first time somebody said that straight to her. Oh my god. That's really quite nice. But it wasn't bad at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in fact, it, she was very, very happy to hear it. Not only because somebody older was showing her respect. Yeah, yeah. But also because Tomoe was longing for something of Natsumi's that she didn't have. Hmm. Yeah, even though her heart um shouldn't have been gone so riled up by hearing the word love from a woman. Oh my god, yeah, but but it's fair enough. Oh my god, seriously, yeah. Yeah, she's brilliant, yeah. She really is. Me too, Tomoe-san. You're always so good at speaking clearly. I think that's wonderful. Oh my god, that's nice. I love you too, Tomoe san. Honestly, I adore you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I love that. She's just, she's probably just so used to hearing that from, you know, the young people that she's actually helped so much that, you know, she's just like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Nothing more. Even if you tell me that, I don't really feel it at all. I can't believe it. Oh. Mm, understandable. At the same time, you're going to have failure. You are going to have to failure. Some, sometimes you are going to have to accept that. But at the same time, I suppose the more confidence she has in herself, even if it doesn't work out, she will, you know, have the obligation in her head to sort of, you know, rise from it, really. Yeah, she really has good, you know, intuition. It's good, that. No, she does! So I don't know if I really possess all these nice qualities you say, I Ooh, but didn't your friends tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Do they like those sort of things about you, I mean? Well, in which case, why not believe it? Huh? Yeah, it does indeed take a lot of courage to believe in yourself. I understand that well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Of course she would. Yeah. But... Yeah. And if they don't, then it's not true love, really. Yeah, but the people you love, um... But the people you love tell you they like you for who you are, right? Yeah, yeah, I love that. I mean, obviously she is trying so hard just to be the best person she can. Obviously be, you know, the model person. But she's trying so hard to be, you know, the best and most entertaining and fun person that, you know, she's not really being herself. And it's... Like, obviously, you need to be those things. You can't just completely run away from not being as fun as you'd like, but you need to relax about it. Oh, it's so good, this, I mean. Yeah. It's quite relatable as well, honestly.
Shizen. My natural self. Eh, so. Yeah, that's right. So, she. Anata ga imama de kakushte ita ketten. Mm. Ketten to o moa sarete ita tokoro. Sko shizutsu de modashte. Tashkame te mita la do kashira. Yes, that's right. And then, um, the shortcomings you've been keeping hidden, or rather the things you've been led to believe are shortcomings. Oh yeah, I like the things you've been led to believe are shortcomings. Yeah, some of the things maybe she'll be thinking really, really bad things about herself, whereas they aren't really problems. Who knows? And as well as you can double check them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree though, yeah. If it's actually something bad, you can um, talk it out and try to fix it. Yeah, but if it was a misunderstanding, then don't do anything about it. Yeah, oh my god, definitely. You don't want to be completely trying to improve yourself and having that pressure about something that doesn't even apply. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do that, and I think you'll find, you're, you'll find yourself coming up with more positive solutions than when you were constantly hiding them. Come to think of it, Natsumi remembered something. When she confessed her honest feelings and worries to see Sato and Tamako, the two of them did indeed tell her. Oh, was it just then? Oh, yeah, yeah, interesting. So, I didn't actually realise that this conversation was after the whole friend thing. I always thought it was before, but yeah, 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 I couldn't agree more. Like, relying on us is fine. Being honest is fine. And it would actually explain why, you know, all of this confidence. I mean, if this happened after, then a lot of the things that Tomoe said here, she wouldn't have listened to, and it still would have continued to trouble her. Well, there's a difference between listening to something and, you know, actually applying it and changing from it. They made a promise. If any of us um, making things is difficult for e if any of us is making things difficult for each other, let's talk it out properly and fix the problem. Yeah, definitely. Oh, she was delighted. Yeah, for Natsumi, who was starting to feel painfully crushed by um, the need to believe like a sorry to me to behave like a good child. Those were practically the words of salvation. Hmm. But honestly, she was still worried. She suppose this is the part of herself that she was hesitant to reveal and it got a poor reaction. What she, would she do? Oh, well, that is actually fair enough. But at the same time, she really, she still continues to underestimate her friends here. And if it makes them disappointed or uncomfortable, in the end, would they stop liking her and instead badmouth her like a royal classmate? No, no way. Oh, God. Oh, shit. It was frightening just imagining it. A chill, a chill ran down um, through Natsumi, um, ran through Natsumi that had nothing to do with her damp clothes. Yeah. And her whole body began shaking. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's no good, Natsumi-san. That's one of your weak points. <laughs> Perhaps as in the musings in Natsumi's mood, Tomoe gently poked Natsumi on the nose with her finger. <laughs> and then she stared straight at the wide-eyed girl, as if to offer her guidance. It is actually, and I mean, I suppose here, it was more, obviously, the feelings of others, the fact that they become disappointed, but obviously what they do to impact her too. The fact that you immediately start thinking about the feelings of others is a very good thing. Ooh, yeah, that's, that is key. Yeah, I couldn't agree more though, but you can't just think that they're going to be rejected. You have to believe in the possibility that they'll accept you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't go into it expecting to be a bother for them. And don't assume they say, they'll say they don't like it, okay? Yeah. Easily. Yeah, and these people are some of the closest friends I've ever seen. Yeah. Plus, a close friend will be able to forg forgive any every anything in your heart, right? Yeah. If you don't believe they'll be able to handle it in good faith, then I feel bad for those friends. Yeah, yes, it is, though, yeah.
Oh my god, yeah, that's definitely here. Yeah, right. They're open-minded people, so why not trust that they're willing to accept you as you are? Easily, yeah. Right, so that's Soma Yotsushi and Kageboshi completely prevented now. <laughs> There's a chance you'll be betrayed and you may not meet their expectations. It's so rare, though. Yeah, it's so unlikely, even. Um, So it certainly is uneasy and scary, but it's important to have faith and take that first step. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Alright. In that case, Natsumi-san. Yes. Oh, this is also a good opportunity. To foster your courage and, um, how about, to foster your courage, how about we actually prove how completely nonsensical the bad things those kids said about you truly are? Oh. Wait, what? What is she gonna do? Prove it, how? Yeah, genuinely, how? Isn't it obvious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, prove that the bullshit these people spouted out is just, you know, complete nonsense. That's good, yeah. Refer to your original straight and long hairstyle. <laughs> because it absolutely does look good on you, okay? I couldn't. Well, I mean, she does size to do so, so that obviously changed. Yeah, Natsumi was so startled that she... Oh, God, she was about to fall over, and then she immediately began shaking her head. God, she really does have quite an odd response to stress. I mean, just the second she feels stressed, just completely shaking. The worst proposal was too big of a leap. No, oh, seriously, what kind of reaction would she get if she suddenly underwent a drastic makeover? Oh, no, I find it really quite interesting. Like, she's not only became accepted, but she's become the center of attention. And then she's got a fucking boyfriend out of it. I mean, my God, is if that's not good to central, I don't know what is. And yeah, definitely as a sign of that, you know, she's seen her confidence just completely, you know, get better and better. <laughs> uh, I can't. Yes, you can. That's too much. Uh, I just got to see uh, how much longer because. Not really got that much. Alright, nice, so, yeah, I can get sleep. Yeah, okay, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's actually, it's quite funny that she's thinking this now, but I kind of get the impression that Donwa is going to completely change it, change it around. <laughs> oh, are you still worried about getting, being called Zashikiwarashi? You really think that's gonna happen? Firstly, times have changed. Secondly, nobody is that shit anymore. Oh, now that's interesting. She's actually... Oh, she's actually trying to make this insult sound like a good thing. Who do you think you're kidding? You have... Who's ever heard of such a cute guy? <laughs> if somebody actually does say that, you bring them straight to me! <laughs> I'd rather straight to an op ophthalmologist than a psycho- What the fuck is an ophthalmologist? <laughs> right. 
Right. <laughs> Surgical treatment of eye disorders. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> They're hallucinating. Oh, I love this though. It'll be alright. I guarantee it. Yeah, because this is super good with straight hair, not to me, son. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody is definitely going to have the same thought, right? It's true, though. But, but, oh, you really think? And is it really quite funny? Who was right? Don Moyer was. Of course he was. And that's to be her head down in a, in a hard rejection. Hmm. <laughs> She's never going to stop. Never going to stop until Natsumi's completely confident. Tomoe stared at her like that for a while, but then she suddenly pinched Natsumi's cheeks and lightly tugged at them. Whoa! What? <laughs> Natsumi san. Natsumi san. I told you earlier, you and I are different. Mm, but there's one thing we have in common. <laughs> I like that, we're surprisingly stubborn. Stubborn. <laughs> Natsumi san ceased for a moment when she noticed that point of come. A commonality between herself and Tomoe that she had never even considered before. And that's actually really quite funny that I, I never would have considered Natsumi to be stubborn. No way. It was, if somebody other than Tomoe had told her that, she might have taken it as an insult and felt resentful. No, I agree, yeah. Yeah, or maybe she started feeling depressed and cut off the conversation right then and there. Yeah, but at the same time, you really think that's going to happen with Tomoe? I think, you know, this obviously is going to make not only um what Tomoe said a lot more applicable to her, but secondly, it's just going to, because obviously relating to her, but also, um, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Even so, a person she loved and respected was also pointing out that she had the same characteristic in herself. She wasn't sure if she was happy about it or not, but <laughs> I love that, yeah, but she couldn't help but have a strange feeling come over her. <laughs> I'm that stubborn. Yeah, just as much as me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, interesting. That's why you never cut your hair, right? Hmm, I'm sorry, this is baseless conjecture. Oh, yeah, I find that interesting, yeah. But despite other people saying bad things about her, you've still taken very good care of her, even up until now. Tekotoa, I mean, doesn't that prove that you, yourself, really thought that your hair was a good quality? Yeah, and I find it really quite interesting. Maybe it could just be her, you know, always having the, you know, just a really strong belief that her hair is bad and she, you know, never wants to live with that. So, as a result, she always, um, you know, tries her best to, you know, configure it and make it look as good as possible. That could be a possible outcome as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fair. It's the same for me. I actually really like the strong minded personality, but it does really take quite a lot to, you know, be bullied for your hair being, you know, like Zasuki Warashi somehow. But then, you know, even after your hair's been bullied and it's reminded you of really bad things, you've still pursued, um, you know, taking really quite good care of it just really shows that you know no matter what happens she really will care about the things that you know are important to her i suppose that one being definitely one of the more trivial things about her but yeah more important definitely it's still important the importance is not lost
だから直した方がいいって言われたりして自分でもそうかもって思ったこともあったんだけど、うん、結局直さなかった。Uh, yeah, so even though people told me I ought to fix that about myself, I thought about it and decided it wasn't something that needed to. No! Oh, yeah, that's actually a really quite a good one. Yeah, no matter how many people tell you to change it back and just, you know, prevent her from doing, so, from doing this, she will always. There's just not really much point of not doing it, really. I don't you think that situation with your hair is similar? <laughs> Oh my god, that's completely, um, <laughs> completely got her off guard. Natsumi's eyes open wide as Tomoe pointed that out. Oh, uh, because it was, wasn't mere conjecture, it was precisely that. And that's actually really quite interesting, that. So, yeah, what she said, what she predicted, totally true. And that's actually really quite funny. It just shows how much she not only knows this, but secondly, like, just, I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't need to change though, definitely not. The truth is, she inherited this hair from my mother. Oh. Yeah, fair. And she liked it a lot. That's why she insisted on growing it out when she was young and never and never cut it. Wow. God. But nobody ever praised it. Oh, so she started to think it was nothing more than personal bias and always kept quiet about it. It became a secret feeling that she couldn't share with anybody, but Tomoe was able to spot it easily. Yeah, that's actually really quite funny at that. And because her hair's so long, I mean, she's not Rapunzel. She's, she clearly has cut it a few times, but like still. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, the fact that she's actually noticed that and noticed that even though, um, you know, people have been slandering it a lot, in a previous school. She's never cut it. No way. That's right. Even if she really is stiff and... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the first time that somebody understood her. Or rather, the first time that somebody truly made an effort to understand her. Not even... God. To be fair, even though her parents... I mean, her parents aren't really the best anyway, but like... Yeah, Tomoe does have a gift for this. Better than... She's probably more talented naturally just because of that gift than her parents. Not even her parents have spoken to her that sincerely. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, seriously. I have so much respect for this woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no matter what I'm thinking, you're always picking it up on immediately. Oh, yeah, you're a detective, all right. <laughs> she isn't, though. Yeah, she's public relations office. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my mom is really pretty hair too. Yeah, my relatives often tell her how nice it is. Oh, oh god. That's actually quite sad. Yeah, so that confidence really must have made a decrease. But they've never told me that, so I um, thought maybe it doesn't suit me. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely not true. No, I agree. Look how frizzy my hair is. Of course, I'm envious of you. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine Tomoe with green hair. That would be fucking weird. I like to chop it off and use it as a wig when I'm going out. <laughs> now that would be weird. Yeah, have confidence, Natsumi san. It is, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't let it, I mean, you have to let it influence your future, but you can't let it influence it too much and completely change it. Yep, me too, yeah. I'm sure nowadays everybody will tell you what's going on. Yeah, have I ever lied to you? Yeah, that is a good question. Think about it. Yeah, it's just a change of hairstyle after all. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So even if you do get a bad um, reaction, you can just um, put it back the next day and reset everything. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but I do not think she's going to do that. <laughs> Definitely evident in the Angel Mort conversation, having her hair really quite long 
Um, you could even tell them that you overslept and didn't have the time to put it up. Um, then all would be back to normal. Oh, yeah, yeah, she already knows, yeah. And she was right as well, which is the funny thing, yeah. But... Hmm, you don't have to make any other sudden changes aside from that. Everybody around you will be surprised, of course. Hmm. Yeah, but it's surprisingly easy to change things little by little. Yeah, fair. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah it's true, though. It really is. And no matter how small a change it is, the world you changed um, with your own power will be a nice surprise to welcome you. Yeah, that's what I believe. It is. And if the world, the obviously, if you have like such a happy time that you changing so much, um, and you actually going out of your way and you know really pushing yourself to do, has actually you know made happen, then of course it's going. To, of course you're not only going to be feeling better in yourself, but you know you're just going to feel more like that world's deserved and. Yeah, I like that. And I'll be praying for you. Hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised that she still seems skeptical, but at the same time, it's such a big thing to, you know, begin to change. Yeah, she still seems skeptical, but even so, Natsumi thought it over for a while and then nodded. She was unusual. She was usually very shy and was even more likely to refuse when forcibly told to do something. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. But for some reason, she felt she could completely trust on more. Good, yeah. Somebody that actually cares about her and will listen and, you know, that she loves. Not in that sense, obviously, but, um, yeah, some sort of conviction inside her was telling her that. Yeah. What's this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And everything did indeed play exactly like Tom Moyer had predicted. No, I couldn't agree more. That's the best thing. It's really good that, you know, obviously, firstly, she's not a complete bullshitter, and secondly, like, she is telling the truth. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And in herself, I'd hope. Ne? Yeah. Right, this is where I stop because I will not get to sleep. I have a lot of shit to do tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I gotta go now. Oh my god, that was not only so fun, but that was so fucking sweet. I love that. And it was just so nice seeing, like, not only, you know, the real changes in Natsumi, but also just um, seeing Tomoe and seeing that brilliantly motivated conversation. I mean, my God, that was fucking motivational as hell. And, you know, just learning about Natsumi, learning about her struggles, and also learning about how Tomoe is trying so hard to help her change them. It's so sweet. And it's just so well done in general. I thought that was really good. And also that understanding that they'd actually had within their friends. It was within Natsumi and her friends. That was really good as well. I like that. And, you know, how that issue, how the issue she had there, all of them are going to be led to, you know, Tomoe actually helping them. It was funny seeing Tomoe's involvement in Angel Mort as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was really quite cool. 
<laughs> it's really quite funny. Today was the only... Today was just, like, motivational speeches for two and a half hours. But it was fucking fun. I don't care. <laughs> right. I'm going to go to bed now. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, see ya.